Hi Shibal, welcome on your video and thanks a lot for your time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. So thank you, sir. At the first place. Okay, Shibal, you are electrical engineer and presently you are working in Cochin Shipyard Limited. And uh, last year you joined this organization. And yes. uh, as you are aware now, Cochin Shipyard is again conducting its uh, interviews, group discussions, etc. That is in October yes. 2023. So this interaction with you yes. will be very, very helpful for all those students, uh, you know, yes. who wants to join this prestigious organization. So I'll be uh, asking you about the entire process and I'll be asking you about Cochin Shipyard now mm -hmm. since you're a part of that and obviously mm -hmm. about uh, you and your journey also. So let mm -hmm. me start this way, Shibil. Uh, first, you please tell me about you. I mean, which part of India you are from and uh, mm -hmm. from where you graduated and from your graduation till your this job in Cochin. How was your journey? So if you can briefly share with us that. Yeah, I'm actually from Kerala only, but uh, northern part of Kerala. Okay. Uh, Calicut. Um, I graduated from uh, Kannur University, and it's the northernmost part of Kerala. From northernmost part of Kerala, and okay. uh, post graduation, it was like uh, 2014. I passed out, and I mean, I graduated in 2014. Then 2015, I went abroad to UAE. Mm. There was like some four and a half, five years I was in UAE. Mm. I came back, and uh, I had some. Uh, personal, my business, family business kind of stuff. Then, uh, like almost three years, I was here. Then, then I, I found this advertisement of coaching shipyard. Mm -hmm. It was seventy odd seats, seventy odd vacancies, and uh, nineteen odd vacancies for LP engineer. So I mm -hmm. thought, just why don't you just try for that? You have been hearing about this coaching shipyard from. Mm -hmm. uh, from a childhood mm -hmm. reading about this so just try uh, I gave it a try I cleared the test uh, I didn't act actually expect to clear the test but once I cleared the test I was like you know what what should I do next I don't mm -hmm. know anything I, I have never attended an interview in India until okay. then mm -hmm. that was the first interview and the first especially a PSU interview first GD uh, kind of Nothing I had uh, done, nothing like that. Interview, obviously, I've done abroad, but not in India. But this kind of setup, I have, I had never attended. Mm -hmm. So uh, I searched around. Actually, I don't, I, I didn't get any reference from anybody. I just searched in the net, and the the, the first first suggestion I think was Yopedia. <laughs> and just oh, I don't call, why 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 just call them and try what it is. And I called, uh, it was like, uh, okay, let's give it a try. It was a short time, I think. It was like uh, three Very weeks or four weeks. Yeah, three mm -hmm. weeks or four weeks for the max, I, to the mm -hmm. maximum, I think. Mm -hmm. So when I uh, first, when I entered the GD, it was like, a, you know, a clutter. It was everybody was shouting here and there. I didn't know what to do. Uh, I was like, uh, uh, I was like just silent. Initially, what I don't, I didn't have anything uh, in my mind. Mm -hmm. Tried talking, but uh, I think you gave me a four, five, six, maybe four, mm -hmm. five. <laughs> uh, then gradually, uh, I thought, why? I don't know this guy, so why should I wait? Just give it a try. Mm -hmm. okay. so then uh, went on, and uh, at the end, it was really nice. That GD really helped me. That training really helped me. And then mm. came the interview, interview part technique in the first one or two uh, mocks. It was like, uh, why, why am I here in the first place? In the technical questions they are asking, I don't know anything. I am here. Yeah. Uh, by the end, I was confident enough. Like, okay. Anyway, mm. you are, I was like, uh, in 20, last year means it is seven or eight years after my graduation. Mm -hmm. I don't properly remember what the textbooks taught. Mm -hmm. Uh, only mm -hmm. what for objective exams so what all you learn that is it mm -hmm. Not stuff. okay okay so shivil i remember last year uh, i clearly remember you had a very vast experience of uh, uae you you were working mm -hmm. there and, uh, that is what mm -hmm. we used to discuss that is what i remember actually interacting with yeah. you and then because of personal reasons you landed up in india and then you were looking for a good job and obviously for carelites uh, coaching shipyard is a very good opportunity uh, back home and that is what I remember actually. And yes, yeah. I also 
we were not competing in India before uh, this particular exam. So we were not aware yeah. much about the things. And it was like, you know, entering into turbulent waters uh, for the preparation also. But uh, yes, because of the, you know, your efforts and learning, I think fast pace uh, of learning, you managed to get into this and uh, today you're a selected candidate. That is uh, wonderful. Now, Shibil, my next, next point uh, comes to you is like, mm -hmm. uh, you've gone through this process. I would, I would uh, request you to uh, tell us like, uh, what was the entire process? I mean, um, uh, there is a group discussion, there is a writing skill and there is an interview. Now, I understand it is uh, a long period back you faced all of this, but whatever you remember, Whatever uh, you can remember, uh, remember now that uh, what question they asked you, how was the, you know, uh, as a as a candidate, whatever uh, inquisitiveness you have about the interview panel, like whatever you would have, you know, uh, wish to know, please share with the students who are listening to you, because that will be very, very helpful. So how was it entire process? Uh, it's like, uh, first it is, there will be a verification document verification then you go into uh, gd and uh, things skill together they'll mm -hmm. make you into teams they'll call you inside then you are given uh, two two question two questions to write uh, a descriptive kind given a word limit also so you write that too then submit that then they'll give you a, then gd uh, gd will start they'll give you a uh a topic and uh some points uh then you will be asked to give a ranking for the points uh a priority list of kind of thing on that then you'll be asked to discuss in the group that the first list will be collected then it will be with them we don't have that we have to remember what you have done then uh the other sheet you will discuss and you will come to a conclusion as a, and give the points a priority then post discussion they'll uh, they'll give you a kind of a brief evaluation mostly uh, then uh, in the gd there will be like if you are continuing, continuing with the gd uh, without any you know uh, it's, it's without any conclusion They'll ask you to stop. They'll ask somebody to conclude the GD. And they'll ask if all are in concurrence. And then if they feel there is some kind of disagreement, then they'll obviously ask somebody else in between the conclusion about this. They'll look at you and they'll ask if there is a disagree, if there is some somebody disagree, then that is over there. Then uh, then comes the interview. Uh, during the interview, they may or may not ask about that uh, GD performance. They, they have both the papers which you have submitted before GD and after GD. So they may ask why there is a dis uh, mismatch. What, what happened? Why you didn't perform? Maybe. Maybe or may not be. Then they'll ask if you have an experience, you can, uh, you'll be asked about the experience and they'll ask about some technical part. They'll ask about non-technical HR kind of questions. The panel will have all kind of people. So they'll ask all HR kind of questions and the technical question. And if you have experience about uh, the previous experience, what you're doing, that is, uh, that is it. That is the process actually. Okay. So, so now she will, I will go one by one. First, mm -hmm. first is the writing skill assessment, right? Mm -hmm. You said they will give you two topics and they will give you word two limits. Topics. They will give you time limits. Yes. So yeah. please tell us uh, what is the word limit? What is the time limit and what kind of topics are given? Word limit, I'm not actually remembering. Uh, it is short, but kind of uh, when you but compare it with some, yeah, uni exam, it will be a kind of five mark question kind of. Right? Okay. One. One will be a technical question. One will be a general, some kind of general question. Okay. Anything. It may be a personal, uh, family kind of question. Yeah. Do, uh, do you do you remember some kind of uh, topic uh, which they give? Mine was uh, some moment which you regretted or something. That kind of a question. Mm -hmm. And life. you have to write. Kind of yeah. Then I have to write a short response. Mm -hmm. 
then and what about technical uh, question technical question will be basic simple questions normally okay uh, for me it was some type of transformer winding or something okay basic mm -hmm. very basic and how much time they will give you for this time limit i'm not actually remembering i think 15 minutes or 10 minutes or something like mm -hmm. that okay for both the yeah. topics yeah both both the questions i think i, I mm. i'm not remembering exactly the time limit mm. and and she will now where do they check it they check in front of you or they check later on no 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 they they keep it they won't uh, normally they keep this thing with you yeah they, they keep okay. it the they moment you do it you put your name and then you submit it yeah yeah extend okay so any 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 uh, advice you want to give to students related to writing skills writing skills actually uh when i wrote my first thing i got many uh, many suggestions and many corrections from you sir first <laughs> so they just just follow that be crisp mm. uh cut short the crap just go to the point mm. uh, you don't have much words for mm. such things be crisp Good. it will be you don't need a big huge uh, para if you okay. have a drawing better figures better okay good so now my next question is related to group discussion uh, shivil what is the typical size of a gd group uh 8 7 8 okay around 6 7 8 that is and you already know who they are i mean who with whom you are going to go from gd is no, it no only only when you go inside mm. and and uh, how many observers are there uh it was four four i think the same people who will interview you later on yes 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 okay and, so and uh, how much time be... yeah uh time was 20 20 minutes i think right when okay. do so you said that they will give you a sheet before and then the sheet after what was that yes 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 that uh, uh that's like uh last last year i remember during the training it first we were going with we were going with other normal psu gd normal gd sorry mm -hmm. then after the first interview only we came to know that it is this kind of structure mm -hmm. then we tilted our we to go to that mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the same way they'll give you some pointers you have to arrange that pointers in a priority you mm -hmm. give you, after you are giving that priority you give your return to them at the same okay. time Okay. Then during GD, you have to make up uh, the same uh, a priority again. Mm. Then they'll look at each individual list. Mm. So that means each candidate will first mark his priority, then keep it, and then again GD, and then mm. after the GD again he will mark and yes. give it, and they will match it. Why the difference yeah. was there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so, so they ask two uh, two uh, thing is there your personal. priorities and this thing will be compared and mm -hmm. the group comparison sheets of individual of eight people will be compared if they tell they are in agreement and their priorities different then mm. you are okay. straight away got so the correlation is seen now. how much correlation is there between what you gave first and what you gave last yeah mm. good so any idea what was gd for you shivan no it was some old topic i remember it national <laughs> commission for men okay Okay, and, and what some, was to be prioritized? Uh, I don't remember the exact points. I, I it was, I don't remember the pointers actually. It mm. was kind of mm. mine had a mismatch, but uh, I was able to explain the mismatch. So, <laughs> uh, so you have time. to explain even mismatch, huh? Why, why it is yeah. different? Yeah, I remember okay. a word in that pointer. Egalitarian society. I didn't even knew the meaning what it was that time. Mm. Mm. Okay, now now coming to uh, interview part, Shivil, please tell us in detail like which part they focus more, HR part, technical part, and what kind of typical question do they ask? That depends on the panels. Actually, some panel had a very technical type of questions, more uh, in depth questions. Okay. Some mm -hmm. panels were more concentrated on the HR part and your uh, personality. analysis part mm. mine was a kind of balanced panel okay. they they were looking at 
if they are giving you something how you will uh, handle and i think that is the way they looked at and uh, about the previous experience mine was more concentrated on the previous experience maybe because i had a four year five year and okay. the, the why why i should come back mm-hmm. to join csr mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay and she will know uh, uh, you had a job experience yeah and whenever you will introduce yourself you will tell about that job experience mm-hmm. and your job experience was varied and it is international job experience mm-hmm. so they ask you about your job experience why you want to join and all those things yes yes they they asked the one question i remember is why what what difference you observe when comparing the indian scenario and ua what what difference is here okay. so mm. that kind of questions you should ask mm-hmm. maybe and they will go deep what what you are doing what is exact mm-hmm. role, what mm-hmm. is then from that question they'll make up the next question okay. and, and do they ask about uh, uh about coaching ship yard also i mean uh, what kind of organization is this do they ask questions yeah, they, yeah yeah some some panelists okay. had asked that my my panel i don't remember they asked or not but uh yeah they asked it they asked about why why should you go on that also they asked right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so any any message or any advice you want to give to those who are going for interview and gd and all students uh just be confident just just go like there is no nobody you know there in the panel okay doesn't matter <laughs> okay but, but before joining uh, csl just uh, understand this like you are uh, you are joining uh, a different kind of industry mm-hmm. it's it's not a typical psu so uh, after you join you should not regret it you should mm-hmm. you should uh, just at least read about what ship building industry is mm-hmm. how it works so that was my third part in fact uh, shivan that what kind of industry is shipping corporation this uh, coaching shipyard so if you can very briefly tell the students who may be planning to join it mm. uh, uh the reason actually is so the reason i told this was there were uh, some uh, self six six odd uh, people who resigned actually after joining it so mm. just don't waste your time if you're not planning to join mm. it's you can concentrate on what you may like mm-hmm. that if you uh, the industry is such it's mm-hmm. little hard but it's good wherever you go with this experience in the future it will be a big asset because mm-hmm. ship building is the most difficult one of the most difficult engineering industry mm-hmm. so that will so can we say anyway that it may, be, it may be difficult the kind of expectation with which you go that okay it is all hunky dory work life yeah. balance school and all it yeah. may not be like that but at the end you yeah. learn end up learning a lot of things yes. can we say something but, like this but but you but what but, but you, when you finish a job no you'll get that satisfaction you when you get that uh, machine running when you mm-hmm. complete the drawing you send it send the drawing to the site to to the production you when you go after a month then you see, you see what you what you had uh, given them working properly testing them you will feel that satisfaction mm. and you will feel that uh, you know there will be a innate kind of proudness i mean mm. the reach you read about the projects in the newspaper you get that respect when when you, when you go out and tell that you are you are working with coaching ship yeah you get that respect in the society in kochi if you are in kochi you will get that in kochi if you are going anywhere anywhere in that uh, especially the kind of projects what we are handling now mm. you will get that uh, respect everywhere what kind of city is kochi in uh, shivan kochi is a nice city to live in actually okay it's it's a blend of metro culture and okay. the, you you get all kind of places Mm. calmness is there you want calmness you have calmness you have you want malls you have uh, malls you have concrete you need concrete jungle you get concrete jungle you need the normal <laughs> jungle you get the normal jungle <laughs> everything is there huh? everything is there. Uh, wonderful mm. so so uh, uh, shivan what kind of subjects you suggest electrical engineer to prepare for interview uh 
uh, interview actually that depends on from where the the board representative is which department so uh, if if uh, basically the core part you should be strong the core power at least the power core power you should be strong mm-hmm. practical side of it mm-hmm. the, the how the systems work what a uh, cara change will uh, reflect on other cara what what is the real life uh uh you know the effect of a cara change something some value change that that way questions might come machinery based mainly okay but there are all kind of uh, departments in csl like uh, construction civil machinery mm-hmm. mechanical like all kind of things are there so you can expect uh, any kind of questions but if your power side is clear then more or less it is at least better okay so <clears throat> that uh, that is a wonderful uh, shibil i think that brings us to an end of this wonderful session and uh, you have told almost everything which is needed by a candidate you have told very clearly about uh, you know the entire process group discussion mm-hmm. writing skill and uh, interview and uh, i must appreciate the honesty and uh, you know uh, openness with which you shared everything so you told very clearly that yes hard industry to work in but lot of learning there and uh, come well prepared those things you explained and uh, also uh, you had a very vast experience before you joined this industry and your theoretical background i mean subjects and all you were learning continuously so you have put lot of effort to get uh, into this particular uh, industry uh, shibil and uh, i'm very sure you will do great in this so let me thank you once again for the time you spared for this interaction and let me wish you all the very best shibil for thank your you, career thank you. same to you sir wish you all the best thank going on